Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hi, this is Rachel Barnett from Gentle Frog. In today's video, I want to show you how to record a refund receipt. I want to take a step back before I do this and just briefly explain refund receipt instead of credit memo. If somebody buys something from you and they have paid for the thing they bought from you, maybe there's an issue where they want to get their money back or get some sort of in-store credit. That's when you as the business owner or business manager get to decide, are you going to issue a refund receipt, which basically means I give you back your money or will you issue a credit memo, which provides them with in-store credit? If they had paid their, if they paid for the thing they bought, like they paid their invoice, it was a sales receipt, any of this, and you issue a credit memo, they can use the credit memo like a gift certificate, like a gift certificate, and they can uh, purchase something later and not have to pay for it because they have this credit memo. If they never paid for the thing in the first place, you might issue a credit memo to wipe out their balance. In this video, we're going to talk about a refund receipt. A refund receipt, just like it sounds, means that you're giving someone a refund. You're never going to issue a refund receipt if the, if the thing that the customer bought was not paid for in the first place. For example, if you created an invoice and they didn't pay their invoice, then you wouldn't issue a refund on money you never collected. So let's go find our customer. Um, I'm going to go to sales and to customers. I've decided Heather the customer is going to be our winner for this video. So I'm going to select Heather the customer. I can see Heather the customer has a sales receipt. They purchased something for $908. If I click on this, I can see what they purchased. So they purchased services, one unit of services at $908 the money went into the checking account. Fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. In the upper left hand corner, I'm going to go to plus new. I'm going to come down to refund receipt. I'm going to choose Heather, the customer. So who's getting the money? Heather's getting the money. When does she get it? She gets it today. The payment method, this is just for funsies. It doesn't actually matter. The refund from where is the money coming from? And just to be clear, me picking something right here does not initiate any money going back to her. I have to still go to my bank and do that or go to Stripe or go to PayPal or however it is that I'm going to deal with this. So I'm going to wipe out the check number because if I'm paying someone from the bank, I just use online bill pay and I never enter a check number. So then services, one, nine, oh, eight. This is all I have to do. I just have to indicate what am I refunding? Any description if I want. The units that I'm refunding, the rate per unit, and then the total it just automatically calculates. I'm going to go ahead and say save and close. It says successfully refunded. Again, nothing really left my bank account. This is just me making a record within my QuickBooks. When I look at my profile for Heather, the customer, I see the sales receipt and I see the refund. If you're looking at this and you almost get it, but not quite, let me take you to the bank register so you can see it there too. So I'm going to go to accounting and then chart of accounts. I'm going to go to my checking register. I'm going to go to view register. I see Heather, the customer got a refund here. If I look further down, Heather, the customer paid and the money went into the bank account. So hopefully this makes sense. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. I have a different video that explains how the credit memo works. So if you're looking at this and it's not quite what you had in mind, maybe take a look at the credit memo video. If you want to see step by step for this, we'll go ahead and link a blog with directions and images into the YouTube description. If you have any questions or if there's other videos you'd like to see, please don't hesitate to let us know. If we can help you one-on-one, -on -one, you can reach us at gentlefrog.com.
Thank you so much.